Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host, Hallie Hammer, and today we're interviewing Kier Morrison, the General Manager of IT Operations over at the John Holland Group. Kier, welcome to the show. Can you start by telling our audience a little bit about the John Holland Group? Sure, thanks for having me, Ali. So John Holland's a tier one construction business headquartered in Australia. Uh, we have projects both in Australia and across into New Zealand also. So a couple of key projects that um, we are really proud of is Sydney Football Stadium, Kidston Pumped Hydro System, and the Sydney Metro Northwest, which is Australia's first driverless train system. So we've got about 6,000 employees and about 130 locations that we service with our technology. You should be so proud of the projects you mentioned earlier, and particularly the Sydney Metro, which, as you mentioned, is Australia's first fully automated rail system. Very cool. So, Kia, in what ways do you guys use AWS services to support your business? Yeah, so as a cloud-first and a SaaS-first business, we, uh, we really rely on AWS to help with our deployment pipelines. So we have very uh, construction-centric type applications in play. Uh, that are constantly being updated uh, and our ability to deploy those updates without interrupting the business or impacting the business in any way is, is really quite important for us. Our data consumption and the use of the data is growing within John Holland. So uh, our ability to start building out our data lakes uh, and realising the power of that data uh, is something that uh, AWS has certainly helped us with. You know, we're big advocates for automation and uh, CDK is a key part of that automation. It allows us to develop a lot of services in the business and start sharing those services out with not only IT staff, but we're looking to push that to uh, other business units. And uh, the ability just to, to, to have them take advantage of AWS is really important for us. I think finally to our IoT space. So um, our ability to, to measure uh, air quality, noise, pollution and the like is really important for not only John Holland, but for our our community and our clients as well. So the AWS IoT stack is, is helping us in that regard. And Kier, thinking ahead of time a little bit, how do you guys see your use of AWS services changing in the next kind of six to 12 months and then over the next couple of years as well? Yeah, yeah, well, um, so certainly we're looking to uh, evolve our, our automation and more and more CDK. And effectively, this is part of our digital transformation where it's it's that technology culture meets the uh, the technology itself. So, you know, de delivering those services across and getting out of the way and letting the business consume those. Uh, we're building a new network uh, and AWS is going to be part of that WAN network as well. So getting access to those services quicker. Uh, and consuming those services on, on an as-need basis is really, really quite important for us. The Data Lake project is just gonna to continue to grow and grow as we connect IoT applications and a bunch of other services in there. It's really gonna be the nexus of our, of our data platform and, and really give some insights and democratization of data within John Holland. Uh, so super important in that aspect for us. Well, I can't wait to see your Data Lake project continue to come to life and watch your business continue to transform. And Kier, AWS and the John Holland Group uh, work very closely together. So what is it that you enjoy most about working with AWS? Yeah, look, we have a great partnership and we really believe it's, it's a true partnership. Um, you know, no hiding that we consume a, a large number of services from AWS. Um, but that's done uh, in, in, a, in a process where we share uh, outcomes with each other. So AWS bring to us uh, a range of ideas, they bring to us a range of products, they bring to us a range of uh, SMEs and industry leaders and challenge our thinking and help us evolve our thinking um, you know, where, where we need it. They're super supportive of what we're doing um, and you know, take our criticism into the product line as well and turn that into features, which we're super happy to see. Um, AWS plays a big part in our engineering culture as well. Um, certainly our, our senior engineers uh, are very much supportive of our junior engineers and, and helping them evolve to become uh, the engineers as, uh, you know, more senior engineers in that sort of space. So that's super important for us. And, and AWS is really right in there helping, supporting those engineers. Through, doesn't matter at what level you are, whether you're senior, junior, anything in between. You know, AWS is really helping us support uh, our engineering team. And I think, and finally, the, the, the lack of bureaucracy, you know, we're moving with some velocity um, and when we, whenever we need help or we've got a problem or, or the like, you know, we can just reach out to AWS and have a, a really experienced team on board. There's not a need to sign contracts or wait weeks for engagements, those sorts of things. And it just helps us get started collectively on, on delivering against the outcome. Well, we love helping evolve your tech culture and it's been a really strong partnership, as you mentioned. And Kia, to round off this interview, if you had one wish for a new service from AWS, what would that be? 
Yeah, good question. Uh, we've got a bunch of stuff coming down the pipeline that I probably can't give away too much just in, in terms of the industry, but I'd probably look more towards an existing product line that's in place and that's around CDK. So I talked about how much we're consuming that and how, how, how much we advocate the use of CDK. So we'd love to see CDK uh, delivered as a new, pro a new product or service is delivered, you know, as the web UI, as cloud formation comes on, we'd love to see CDK in the mix at the start as well. Yeah, thank you so much for joining me on the show today. If anyone has any questions about the John Holland Group or any of the tech they're implementing, please pop it in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ellie.